Hey everyone, and welcome back to another video. What's up, Android enthusiasts? Ever had that moment where you install a cool new Magisk module? Everything seems to go fine, but then... Poof! It's like it vanished into thin air in your Magisk manager. Trust me, it's a super frustrating experience. But don't worry, you've come to the right place. Welcome back to the channel where we dive deep into the world of Android customization. Alright, let's kick things off with the most robust solution, which is essentially hitting the reset button for your system's core files related to your custom ROM and Magisk. This involves reflashing your entire ROM. Now, I know this might sound a bit daunting, but it's often the most effective way to ensure a clean and stable environment for your Magisk modules. If reflashing your ROM feels like a step too far right now, or if you want a quicker though potentially less permanent solution, the second method involves manually navigating your phone's file system as a root user and placing the module files in the designated directory. As the name suggests, you'll need a root browser application for this. There are several good options available on the Play Store. Find the downloaded Magisk module zip file on your device's storage. This is a crucial step. Use your root browser to extract the contents of the module zip file. You'll usually find a folder with the module's name after extraction. Open your root browser and navigate to the root directory. From there, go into the data folder, then the ADB folder, and finally, the modules folder. Once the copy is complete, open your Magisk Manager app. You should now hopefully see your module listed in the modules section. After verifying the module is present, it's essential to reboot your device for the module to be properly loaded and activated. Now, there are a couple of things to keep in mind if you choose this manual method. Firstly, as I mentioned earlier, this might be a temporary fix. Sometimes, the way the module is designed requires it to be installed through the Magisk Manager for certain scripts or configurations to run correctly. Secondly, if the module requires specific permissions, you might need to manually grant those permissions to the files within the module folder using your root browser. This is a more advanced topic and requires a good understanding of Android file permissions. If you're comfortable with the process, reflashing your ROM and reinstalling Magisk is generally the recommended approach. It ensures a clean installation and minimizes the chances of encountering further issues. However, if you need a quicker solution or are hesitant to reflash your ROM, the manual file copy method can be a good temporary workaround. So, there you have it. To main methods, you can try to fix the frustrating issue of Magisk modules not showing up after installation. Hopefully, one of these solutions gets your modules working as expected. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more Android tips and tricks. Do you have any other solutions or have you faced this issue before? Share your experiences in the comments below. It might help other viewers. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.